Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zero's content. In today's video, we're going to discuss my hero guide for FC Talia. But before that, if you want updated EXO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, let's begin with FC Talia's hero profile. So she hails from the nation Brun, but she doesn't get her signature force there. So that's a bit of a shock. So her element is nature, her position is support and her attack type is magical her stats um as for her strength so she only has two she has high hp and she has average dodge but as for her weakness she has a lot she has below average attack below average defense below average hit below average crit hit below average block and low attack speed or very low attack speed the only stats here that you are going to try to increase are her defense her hit because you land you need to land her skills and you also need to increase her attack speed so let's take a look at her skills of her s1 so a bit more of an animation a laser a green laser going through her hand let's take a look at her passive so her passive is still first aid three so grant seal 100% of attack to an ally if they take damage and their health falls below 20%. So gains 1 mana if own mana is at 20% or less when triggered. Gain mana if own health is at 70% or more when triggered. So she also has Dragonite Blessing. She also has Head Dragonite which, is, which makes her very good at the dragon. Especially now in the dragon. And let's take a look at her unique passive that has been added to her. So you have, actually it's not a unique passive. Um, it's a similar passive that um, the other Blooming Sun they got. So Dimension Leap. So Mark increases dodge for self by 40 and attack by 1000 attack. All Dimension Leap Mark on self are removed after a successful dodge stacks up to four times. So this would really benefit her would give her additional dodge and would also stack up so and attack stack by 1000 okay so she has an additional um passive which is guardian of prophecy it's an overtime effect which gives all allies increased defense by 20 percent this is actually very big as well if if you could actually um, add this to the additional defense that Garf gives, so this would be a great uh, passive to have. And her other passive is two times in a round when an ally is damaged and their health be falls below 30%, heals the health of one ally with the most missing health by 60% and the target's maximum of, of the target's maximum health. I actually had a chance to test this out um, in, in PV, PvE and uh, as long as the hero survives, this activates twice uh, depending on who has the lowest health during that time because it said two times around. So if you have Bathory in your team, this is actually a good spell to have as well. But with, with her nation ability, I'm sure you'll have Bathory and Rera to back her up. So the, the last passive that she has is Rewind. So when the health of an ally marked with revish, Reversion falls below 50, heals the target by 30% of the target's maximum health and removes all Reversion Marks. Reversion Marks, just to have an advanced information to you, um, it's, it's actually being given by her S2. So for her S1, um, Absolute Prophecy deals 150 damage to one enemy uh mark afflicts all enemies except a target with prophecy of decline mark if a target with mark target mark with prophecy of decline attacks you reduces damage by 50 percent heals one ally by 29 percent of own maximum health when the attack hits so again you need to increase her hit rate for this to trigger for all of the skills to, to, to trigger and cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects from the healed target so this simply says that when she attacks somebody all of the other heroes in that team get the prophecy of decline and gets reduced damage and and uh what do you call this um 
FC Talia gets a reduced damage from those other heroes that you attacked. So that is simply what the mechanic of this skill is. This is good because um, because number one, it gives gives one heal and makes uh, FC Talia more tankier than the than your other uh, than your other heroes in your team. Take a look at her S two. So her S two is deals damage it's nature's judgment deals 127 percent damage to all enemies take note it's a burst skill so required mana is four heals all allies by 24 24 percent of maximum health when the attack hits so it's also important to scale her hp up so that both s1 and s2 would 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 grant would would be would be um what do you call this would be scaled up more it also has cleanse, cleanses all the debuffs and damage over time effects from heal targets. So this is the reversion mark. If the heal target's health is 50% or more, grant reversion mark. So this is where it comes from. So all in all, I've seen how how FC Tal is in action. She is pretty pretty much annoying, um, especially in PvP. I've encountered a lot of um, a lot of um, teams already using her with battery and with um, again with uh, with Rera and some of the teams even bring bring Dorka. So Dorka, Talia, Bathory, Rera, and I think the other one is Tantalo. So pretty much a big headache in terms of toughness. Um, she gives a lot of healing, constant healing to your team, which really is a, you know, a headache for most opponents. So for her unleash potential, the priority here is to first increase her stamina because of course you need to increase her health. So that's the, the, that's the top priority. So there's also an increase of speed here. I think there's also an increase of, uh, block rate but you don't need that yet i'm looking for hit try to first um go through the stamina tree up to the bottom part because she gives again an additional re reduced damage to all allies by 30 percent so this is actually very big i already have this skill activated in my in my shell or fc shell so this makes her more tankier and your team more tankier so try to aim for the stamina tree first then second would be your defense tree for more resiliency and more survivability just a friendly reminder guys for those who haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do click that subscribe button below because most of you or 50 percent of most of my viewers haven't subscribed yet so please support my channel so for her playability um she is actually very playable in any of the content um your pvp she can be played or mixed with any team also in pvp tag as well she doesn't you know she doesn't have any requirements uh, in terms of pairings um in 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 pve she can be used in any of the content most especially in holy dragon grounds because she excels well uh, in protecting your team she can be used in the challenges in the chapters and again she can be used in pretty much any of the content that you have in pve for her recommended guardian stones i would only recommend two sets so let's take a look at the guardian stones here oh, sorry the yeah the guardian stones here i would only recommend you awaken her with fire set because of her additional hp of a max of 5000 then once she's awakened, you can actually equip her with nature set, which gives her additional dodge. Because take note, FC Talia already has average dodge. So once you bolster her dodge, she would, you know, uh, have increased survivability. But you could also equip fire set after you've awakened her as well. So either fire or nature set would go well with FC Talia. So as for synergy with other heroes, I think um, FC Talia, again, she doesn't, you know, she doesn't have a specific, you know, limitation in terms of synergy. Um, she can be paired especially good with Battery, Rera, and Tantalo because they are in the same nation. And once you've 
leveled up your Greenland nation for Signature Forge, um, I I do say that they're a headache. Um, any any hero goes well with her. Any team goes well with her. It's just that you have to make sure that she has enough um, attack speed, she has enough hit, and she has enough defense to survive. Okay, so for my overall rating, we'll begin with the uh, stats. So the rating is uh, one, uh, sorry, uh, one being the lowest and five being the highest. So for stats, I would give her a three because um, again, if you remember, she only has two good stats and the others you still have to scale up for her to actually survive well and to you know be, be more playable so i give her a three for playability in content i would definitely give her a five because she's playable in any content pvp or pve and the last one is synergy i would also give her a five because she doesn't have any limitation on which hero you'll be pairing your her with and for my final thoughts um she's an all-around healer can go with any team composition no limitations as long as you bump up her stats again she has poor stats she has only two good stats needs improvement are speed defense and hit anyway guys this has been a long day for me that concludes my video let me know what you think in the comments below have your thoughts on my guide on fc talia Y'all stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Word and out.